Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 1st, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla, Kony, NVIDIA, and Misty. Um, but first, if you guys missed my video yesterday, Roundhill declared their distributions um, much higher than expected. So look out for Roundhill, um, QQQY, especially, I'm sorry, Q -Q QDTE, especially 56 cents. So again, pretty good numbers. So I can pin yesterday's video. I made a quick video on that um, if you guys are interested. So anyway, as far as yesterday is concerned, NVIDIA is the only one that had trades. Um, what you see is four transactions here. Uh, you see an S and a BC under type. So what S is, is sell. So what did they sell? You look to the left, you see an 816 call, 127. So, okay, 816, obviously, you know, that's not this Friday. So that's going to be the synthetic, right? So they sold part of the synthetic, 21,000 contracts of it. And then on the bottom, they BC'd uh, the put, the other, side of, the other side of the synthetic. And then they decided to move those 21,000 contracts to the other synthetic, which, you know, it's pre-existing, has a 115 strike, and then a further expiration of 920. So let's take a look at, see what that looks like. All right, so if we go to the NVIDIA tab, I'm sorry, NVIDIA spreadsheet, the 127 tab, you see yet on 731, 21,000 contracts removed, right? But it was pretty damaging because they actually did not make money on this since the strike is above the current price of the stock, the underlying. So, however, I don't know if you guys noticed, NVIDIA did jump yesterday. So, Maybe they were unsure if the price was going to stay that high, so they took an opportunity to t start to shift the synthetic to the lower price. Or, you know, I don't know. I assume there's some type of strategy. They weren't obviously completely confident with that, or else they would have moved all contracts. They only moved 21,000 contracts. So in the end, they actually lost like $23 million for doing this. So... Again, is it is it smart? Is it not? Who the heck knows? Who's time in the market here? Who can do this? I don't know. Um, but Nvidia did have a big jump. To be fair, but that you know that jump could continue through eight sixteen. But you never know. So anyway, that added to the July profits, which is actually a July loss um, of, on the one twenty seven of sixty point one mil. Okay. So yeah, 21,945 contracts remain under the 127 strike, which expire on 816, which is 16 days away. Now here's them adding the 21,000 contracts to the 115 synthetic. Uh, that cost them about, I guess, 3 million to open that position. But again, I'm not gonna say anything as far as opening the position. Sometimes they get a credit, sometimes they don't. But either way, um, this is now pretty much the new synthetic position that eventually, you know, all contracts will be. But so now they have 61,145 contracts here. Um, they're in a favorable, favorable position. They're up 1.76%. And this has 51 days um, to go until it expires. All right. So we'll see how that goes. Also, estimated earnings date for NVIDIA is August 28th, which obviously is you know, before the expiration date of this synthetic. By the way, I'm making this before I had my coffee. I know that's dangerous, but I woke up, you know, I hit snooze when my alarm hit, said four o'clock. I got up at 4.30 and I'm already regretting it. Um, all right, so what do we got here? So NVIDIA, this was the big jump I was talking about, 12.81% increase. NVIDIA. Since they were way out of the money, look at that gain, 12.35% increase. You don't see those types of, in this may be like one of the biggest increases on one of these funds since inception, but this is a massive, massive gain. You know, this is the beauty of them being so far out of the money. Um, obviously, they lost some, you know, they lost like the day before, they lost 6.87%, but um, and then prior to that, they lost some, you know, uh, some more, but still, that that's why they are so far out of the money. But either way, big day for NVIDIA and NVIDIA. So now, where do they actually stand, though? Okay, that was a pretty big jump. 
Let's look at the largest position, 79,190 contracts, 122 strike. It is actually still 4.26% out of the money. That is crazy, crazy after a jump like yesterday. So, you know, again, not bad. Two trading days. I'm not even going to complain if we go, you know, in the money at this point. But obviously, their synthetics are not, you know, there's no really synthetic bailout as, as much because you've seen the position they're in. Right, the one synthetic is one twenty seven. So, if they do blow through these, is it going to go to one thirty? Okay, then we can make money on the one twenty seven. Is it going to go to one twenty? You know, five. Then okay, they won't make money on the one twenty seven, but they will make money on the one fifteen. Hopefully, that makes sense. Either way, um, the lowest strike they do have though is the one eighteen. That's point eight four percent out of the money, so that could be in danger. But again, after a big jump like yesterday on Nvidia. What's more than likely to happen the following day? Probably a little correction, a little sell-off, um, but you never know. We'll see. We're not here to time the damn market. All right, as far as outstanding shares are concerned, no change there. And there's the recap. 30-day IV, 66%. Outstanding shares, 36625000 Total net income from the weekly calls, 39.6 mil. Distribution dollar eight daily income four cents daily yield 0.14 percent. If you annualize that, that's 51 percent. And Nvidia Fund Manager is just all smiles. What a day! Because again, they took a, they took advantage of the the whole, not the whole, but most of the jump. All right. So the synthetic uh, lack of income, or shall we say, loss, is now at 67.7 mil. So we have to ignore that. And let's focus on the 39.6 mil in short call income. That will pay $1.08 as, as we show today. And if you throw that into the estimator based on the number of days left, I'm showing that could pay $1.27 or a 57% uh, percent yield. Now, if people wonder how do they pay return of capital, right? They do so well. Well, they, think about it. They made 39 mil in short call income. They're going to pay us based on that. But they did lose money, right? They lost money on the synthetic. In fact, they lost 28 million this month so far. So obviously, if they pay us, you know, it's considered return of capital because they didn't really make any money. But again, it, what matters is the fiscal year, which, by the way, it's, um, you know, for NVIDIA, it was, uh, you know, it expires or it ends 1031. So I don't know why I have 222. I think that was their launch date. Um, but either way, their, uh, their fiscal year ends October 31st. So we'll see what happens, you know, from them. Obviously, it's 11-1 to 10-31. Um, but I didn't, haven't been tracking it since then. I think I go back to, yeah, April. So, all right. So let's go to the holdings tab. No, I mean, the changes were in the synthetic. But again, the other part of the synthetic is still open. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Let's see if they can um, be profitable when all said and done. But again, 127, it's kind of far away. So we don't really need to talk about the synthetic any further. But we do have the calls, all of which expire tomorrow. Um, some cheap, 58 cents, 75 cents to close. But they'll probably wait it out, see how it goes. Because um, again, it could drop today. But what's uh, the net asset value after that? It's 972.6 mil. The NAV is 2656, trade price 2665. So again, pretty impressive day, almost hitting the bill from one day, right? We were in the 800s yesterday, so crazy. Anyway, that's the update on the GOAT. So from NVIDIA, I guess I'll just go directly to Tesla. Why not? Um, no trades for Tesla. Again, they're sitting with two synthetics, a 260 and a 265. Um, both expire in 16 days on August 16th. Not sitting in a very profitable position at the moment, but maybe things will change. Tesla had a green day after a red day prior. Um, it was up 4.25%. And Tesla took advantage of that. They went up 3.59%. However, you could see based on how much they went up, they're probably capped at this point. So if we zoom out and look at the contracts, some of the contracts are capped. So first we'll look at the largest position, 31,735 contracts. That is a 235 strike. That's 1.26% out of the money. So not much room for movement there. And they do have a one higher strike, 237.50. Um, 
that's 2.34% out of the money. So again, those are the ones that are still out of the money, but they do have uh, some contracts like 1250, 1,250 contracts with a 230 strike. Those are 0.9% in the money. So if, the, if we closed it out today, we'd, we'd be at a win. But again, we have two trading days, so anything can happen. See how that plays out. But obviously, getting a little too close for comfort right there. Uh, outstanding shares, no change. So quick recap, 30 day IVs, looking at 47%. Outstanding shares, 50,250,000. And uh, short call income is a loss of 22 mil. Yeah. Tesla fund manager not feeling too confident on their strike prices at the moment. All right, but as far as the month of July and producing income, their synthetic income sits at 125 mil. Their short call loss, 22 mil. So the net income we have to focus on is 103.2 mil. So that makes, that produces $2.05 a share. Again, we still have this weekend to make some money. And we'll see what the numbers, how the numbers play out. But unless they mess with the synthetic, you know, I'm really thinking it's going to be over a dollar easily. But we'll see. Yeah, so as, the, as far as the holdings are concerned, obviously no change really here because no trades. Um, so I'm not really going to harp on the synthetic or the calls. But obviously you see the calls are costing a little more money to close as we approach, um, you know, expiration date. And some are out of the money, some are not. So you see the 508, that's, that'll be the one that's out of the money, right? Because it's a little more expensive to close out. The other two um, are not. All right, so if we look at the net asset value, it sits at 797.3 mil. The NAV is 1587, trade price 1585. Trying to go a little quicker due to time constraints today. Kony, synthetic-wise, one synthetic, 250. Um, and not looking that great, to be honest. Uh, the 250 is 10% away from the strike. However, they do have 16 days. So should they be concerned? Um, well, I'll tell you after, after hours today, because today is earnings date for coin, um, after hours, I believe it's after hours and we'll see how that plays out. Um, it could make it do very well or it could destroy. We'll see. How is coin trading up into earnings? Well, the market doesn't know clearly because yesterday um, it was down only 0.04%. No jump, no big jump, no big drop. So uh, Coney said, all right, I'll go up 0.11%. So again, not bad. So heading into, you know, uh, earnings week, Monday, what, down 3.59%. Tuesday, down 4.16%. Wednesday, kind of flat. So we'll see. We'll see how today trades. All right, so where do they stand with their calls? Well, I'm, they're in a great position to have a really good earnings call. Um, again, they have, they're way out of the money. They're anywhere from 15 to 21% out of the money. I'm not going to go into the details of that, but it's a pretty damn good cushion. You know, majority of the contracts, though, sit above 20% out of the money. So again, they're ready. They are ready for a really good earnings call. I mean, it'll be wait. It'll be such a waste if they have a bad earnings call. You know, if you own Coney. Now, as far as outstanding shares, it did jump one hundred and fifty thousand. So let's go to the recap. We got a thirty day IV, seventy three percent. Honestly, I would have expected it to be a little higher coming up to earnings. Uh, outstanding shares, thirty nine point seven mil. Uh, net income is a loss of thirty two point six mil, though. So, yeah, reaction is they're hungry. They are still hungry. For some money, let's make some money on earnings. But the July, you know, income recap is yes, they made twenty point eight mil on the synthetic, but the short call loss is greater. It's, you know, it's thirty two mil, so it's a net loss of eleven point eight million. So again, no prediction, no calculation of a distribution based on that. Um, so we'll see how this all plays out. Today's a big day, though, as far as Coney's concerned. Now, if we look at the uh, holdings, again, no change from previous, except obviously the market value since there was you know, no trades yesterday. Um, and you see how cheap, right? Look how cheap the calls are to close. Um, but um, again, we'll see if it's a really good earnings. These are going to be a little more costly to close, but it'll be worth it, right? They'll have so, so much appreciation on the synthetic that the price you know, of Coney would go up. But again... 
Nothing to really say outside of that. We just got to wait for earnings. The net asset value is 731 mil. The NAV is 1842, trade price 1845. Okay. Misty. 1550 strike price of the synthetic expires August 16th, 16 days away. Um, Misty has a 10 for 1 forward split effective today. So your account, if you own Misty, I'm sorry, not Misty. Mister has a 10 for 1 uh, stock split. So if you do own MSTR, you should see that sometime, I believe, in pre-market, if not already. Um, I know Defiance has the reverse split today, uh, the one for three. And I already see some funky action in my account uh, that kind of screwed up uh, what I'm looking at for my uh, you know monthly uh, update. Which, by the way, I'm going to try to make after this video, but we'll see. All right, so how did MSTR do yesterday? Same thing as Kony, kind of flat. Crypto had a boring day, I guess, uh, but MSTR did go up 0.65%. MSTY went up 0.86%. So how are we doing overall? Well, if we look, we are still out of the money. Um, largest position, 2,535 contracts, 1,775 strike, 9.95% out of the money. And then we have 125 contracts, 1,800 strike, 11.49% 11 out of the money. So with two trading days, it's safe to say they're pretty safe. Um, I don't think the coin earnings would affect, you know, MSTR, MSTY as much. So unless they have some like crazy crypto news that they can produce that we don't know already, right? That Because obviously anything crypto, anything Bitcoin, MSTR gets affected. Outstanding shares did go up by 225,000 though. So let's take a look at the recap. 30 day IV, 85%. Outstanding shares, 15.1 mil. See, they have a higher IV than coin one day prior to earnings. It's crazy. Or the day of earnings, actually. Net loss is 11 mil though. So again, nothing fantastic. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, kind of hungry for money they're closing their eyes it's like i don't know these crypto ones had a had a pretty crazy month not a great month synthetic income 5.1 mil short call loss uh 11 mil so they're at a net loss of 5.8 million so just like coney again no income to show no distribution estimate um so we'll have to wait until you know this weekend to produce some type of estimate but nothing exciting happening this week for MSTR. Again, outside of any crypto news that comes on the coin call. But who knows? All right. So as far as outstanding holdings, 443.3 mil is the net asset value. Uh, the NAV is 2936 and the trade price is 2948. So nothing exciting. Again, not many trades. So what can you do? Now, if we look at the uh, market watch, we look at the pre-market. This is as of, what time is it? 5.30 a.m. Uh, Tesla is down 0.43%. Tesla is up 0.25%. Look at that. NVIDIA is up 0.42%. Shocker, right? After the big day yesterday, it's still green. But again, it's pre-market. Um, NVD is up 0.08%. Coin is up, okay, 1.31%. Kony is up 1.46%. MSTR is down 0.88%. And MSTY is down 0.17%. TSLL is down 0.85%. TNA is down 1.47%. AMDY is down 0.27%. AMZY is up 0.43%. because So kind of all over the place today. Uh, Bitcoin is down by 1.02% though. So yeah. So sorry for rushing the video. Again, limited time. As you know, I'm traveling for work. It's been a very busy few days. And today I got to drive home. It's about a three hour, three and a half hour commute on top of that. So not too, you know, exciting of a day, you know, first first half of the day, just sitting around listening to presentations, second half of the day commuting home. And then if I get home in time, I'm probably going to help, um, you know, with baseball tryouts. So again, pretty long ass day for me. And if I'm supposed to squeeze out another video after this and then go work out before this day even begins. But that's why I had to get before and I got up at 430. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that, but. 
As always, not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. And if, you know, if not for the video, at least hit a like button for the long ass commute I got to, you know, take home from Maryland back to New Jersey. Uh, no, but for real, if, if you don't mind and you enjoy my content, uh, please hit the thumbs up button, like button, whatever you want to call it, punch it right in the face, show it what's up. If you have any questions or concerns, leave it in the comments below and I'll, I will try to get back to it at some point. Um, if I forget, feel free to remind me um, via comment or, or of course you can join the Discord via link on my uh, profile. Hopefully it's updated. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I got nothing else. Um, so uh, as far as keyword is concerned, I haven't really thought of one, see? But uh, I guess it's split day. Today's keyword is split day because we have a forward split on MSTR and we have a reverse split on the three defiance funds, QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY. So yeah, kind of a logistical nightmare uh, tracking for tracking purposes. As you see, like the holdings on MSTY did not reflect the, the split, right? Because they're going to have 10 times the amount of contracts, right? Everything is 10 times more. Um, but you'll see, I, you know, I'm not going to try to update it. I'm going to let them update it um, and then go from there. And then obviously, um, for those of you that own the defiance funds, you'll see what happens in your account, of course. But, you know, if you don't know how these work, reverse split, forward split, obviously just, just research it. It's not really that complicated, but uh, I'm not going to get into it now. All right, guys, I got to go. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Later.